Hey guys, we got our new Macs today, and instead of getting one iMac, we got two Mac Minis for just about the same price. One is going to be mainly used for photography, and is configured with 8GB of RAM, and we upgraded it to the i7 quad core. The other has 4GB of RAM, and it's the dual core. Let's take a look at the i7. We're going to load CS6 and MS Office on it, so let's see how it performs. But first, let's do the unboxing. This is the i7 quad core with 8GB of RAM. Like I said before, we are going to load CS6, Office, and a couple of plugins for Photoshop. Here's the Mac Mini. Let's see what else you get in the box. They've wrapped it in plastic pretty thoroughly. The guy at the store showed me how to upgrade the memory. It was pretty simple. You just slide this plate off. They give you two tabs for your fingers to pop the bottom lid right open. Twist, lift it up, and this is the interior of the Mac Mini. Two memory slots, the fan, and a speaker. Let's put the lid back on and look at ports. Twist it back on. On the back, you have the power, this is the on-off switch, Ethernet, FireWire 800, HDMI, Thunderbolt, you get four USB 3 ports, audio in and out, and an SD card slot. This is the vent. Let's see what else you get in the box. They make it pretty simple. A, a power cord, what looks like manuals, world famous Apple sticker and a video adapter. This goes to HDMI to DVI video. Let's boot this thing up and see how it performs. Now that we have the Mac Mini configured with software the way we want, let's take a look at the hardware and see how it performs. It's running Mac OS 10.8.1 it's a 2.3 GHz machine and it was upgraded to the i7. It also has 8 GB of RAM. Let's start with Photoshop. Let's see how big this file is. We'll drop it on Photoshop and see how long it takes to load. It's a 9 MB JPEG. Let's drop it on Photoshop. Well, I counted 4 seconds. That's pretty impressive. Let's load a couple of applications and see how it holds up. Here's Adobe After Effects. That's impressive. That's just as fast as it takes to load on my iMac. Let's load Word. A browser. And let's go back to Photoshop and make a couple of edits. Nice. That should do it. So let's review what's running. We have Firefox, Word, After Effects, The Finder, ScreenFlow to Record, and again Photoshop. Well that's really impressive for the money. I think this is a great machine and a really good value. Well that concludes this video. Thank you.